Jack. My son. My clone brothers and I are called monsters, replicants of evil genes. You are one of a kind, but still a monster, shaped by a dark and secret history. We need to decide which monstrosity will have the privilege of survival. By the way, Jack, I was the one who killed your parents. I claimed you for my own and raised you as a soldier in the army of the devil. I am your foster father and your worst enemy. Why? Because I needed to know whether we were really someone else's creation. We're repeating history, Jack. Liquid and Solid hunted down Big Boss, trying to sever the tie that bound them to him. Unless you kill me and face your past, Jack, you will never escape. You'll stay in the endless loop, your own double helix. It's time we were both free. I have other reasons for wanting you dead. The clues to the Patriots inside GW have been erased. But there are other traces. Inside you. What? The information is being carried by the nanomachines in your cerebral cortex and throughout the neural network they formed.
string it. Flight, you have to be Solidus. This is your last duty. We're not just pawns in some simulation game, you know. Yes, you are. We're nothing but mere weapons. No different from fighter jets or tanks. What the? The old model destroyed four years ago was Rex. The new amphibious model is Ray. Both of these are the same as the code names used by the U.S. Armed Forces to refer to Japanese warplanes during World War II. Your code name, Raiden 2, comes from the Japanese Navy's name for one of its interceptors. Stop it! I'm not a weapon! Oh, really? Do you know the code name the U.S. Armed Forces used for the Japanese fighter Raiden? It was Jack. Both of you are just weapons to be used and thrown away. Just weapons to be used on the battlefield. Just pawns in a game, exactly as you said. And the weapon has no right to think for itself. Now, it's time to fulfill your purpose. Defeat Solidus.
Who am I, really? No one quite knows who or what they are. The memories you have and the role you were assigned are burdens you had to carry. It doesn't matter if they were real or not. That's never the point. You just come out of nowhere. There's no such thing in the world as absolute reality. Most of what they call real is actually fiction. What you think you see is only as real as your brain tells you it is. Then, what am I supposed to believe in? What am I going to leave behind when I'm through? We can tell other people about having faith. What we had faith in. What we found important enough to fight for. It's not whether you are right or wrong, but how much faith you are willing to have. That decides the future. The Patriots are a kind of ongoing fiction too, come to think of it. Listen, don't obsess over words so much. Find the meaning behind the words, then decide. You can find your own name. And your own future. Decide for myself? And whatever you choose will be you. I don't know if I can. I know you didn't have much in terms of choices this time. But everything you felt, thought about during this mission is yours. And what you decide to do with them is your choice. You mean start over? Yeah, a clean slate, a new name, new memories. Mm. Choose your own legacy. It's for you to decide. It's up to you.